All right, guys, so we're on the way to Disneyland. I'm not driving right now, we're at the gas station. And this is gonna be a super cheat day. I think it's important to have cheat days, especially when you're you know, on this fitness crazy path that we're on. It is my beautiful girlfriend's birthday. Thank you, baby. And so we're going to Disneyland and I'm gonna eat whatever I want today. I'm gonna, at the end, count out the calories. I know that's no fun, but I want you guys to find out um, how much like a normal human being can really consume in one day. I just went to the gas station. I got Funyuns. I have not had Funyuns for like, since I was in like probably high school. So it's been quite a long time. I'm very excited to have some Funyuns. And I'll start recording all the stuff that we're gonna eat today. Well, let's, let's get going. <laughs> all right, made it to Disneyland. Now it's time to eat. All right, first meal at Disneyland, churros. I have no idea how many calories in this, we'll find out. So, second meal of Disneyland, churros. I got this um, this special sauce of it. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna guess that this sauce is probably like 150 calories. The churro itself is another 250, so we're gonna say 400 calories right here. Next, I got dibs. These, uh, I just saw them, I just wanted them, so I went to get it. Uh, right here, it says 320 calories in the whole container. Of course, I have the whole container. So that's my third snack of the day. Okay. Okay, so now we're at lunch. Um, the real food, right? Real food, no more junk food. I had a pizza, it was a burger pizza. Um, I wish I didn't get it, because I wish that I didn't sacrifice any room in my stomach for it. But then I'm glad I got the pasta right here. So this pasta was a, uh, it was like a white cream Alfredo pasta. So it was definitely more of a, the fattening type. I'm gonna say this whole pasta right here was probably 900 calories. The pizza itself was probably gonna be about 500 calories. And afterwards, my girlfriend, she gave me her leftover crust and the breadstick. And also I had one fourth of that little cookie thing. So all of this also i'm gonna say and this is to be nice probably like 300 calories for the whole uh for the little alien looking thing and the crust and the breadstick ah, of course mickey's ice cream sandwich the group is looking at me <laughs> okay 270 calories bam second ice cream sandwich of the day and it will not be the last because today's hot. <laughs> and now it's dinner time. I had some chicken, had some beef, had some rice. It was like the first actual nice meal that was wholesome. I would say this is probably 500 calories. And afterwards, of course, I had to have little snacks. So I went to get some hot Cheetos. The hot Cheetos for the whole bag, it was 330 calories. So on top of that, the whole dinner was about 830 calories. Oh man. Is it? I am excited for this one. Bono cake gold glitter. with gold glitter. And Oreos. And Oreos. And Oreos. Oh my god. I don't know how many calories in this. But dessert time. No. I'm still not done. Okay, so this is the last meal at Disneyland. Um, John and Jessica were kind enough to give me a second funnel cake. They ate half, so I had the other half. I was not planning to go back to get more, but man, I love funnel cake. Now, mind you guys, today's goal was to not eat until I felt sick, but just eat until I felt kind of full and content, and I would stop there until I feel a little bit of hunger come back again. So here's uh, before Disneyland. I was at... 159.8 okay so here is the moment of truth this is the next morning let's see my weigh in let's see where i'm at i am at 164.8 pounds so this is where i ended up I okay so this is the day after disneyland five pounds i gained five pounds and i want you to remember um at Disneyland, I was not eating until I felt sick and I couldn't walk anymore. I was just eating uh, whatever I saw that I wanted. I ate until I was content and I stopped there. And somehow, I'm still able to gain five pounds over one day. And I know for a fact, it's gonna take me about a whole week to get back to where I was. So this is the most important lesson I like to convey to people is that one day, 
one day can destroy your progress for a whole week. So one day is equivalent to seven days, depending on how badly you do it. Now let's say that I ate till I was sick for lunch and dinner. I probably could have gained like seven or eight pounds over one day. And that would take me probably um, more than a week to get back to where I was. So as you can tell, nutrition is so important. It is so, so important. You have to be on track to get to your goals. And I have seen so many people do this. They will lose five pounds. Then the weekend comes, they'll gain four pounds or five pounds. Then the weekdays comes again, they'll lose five pounds. And then the weekend comes, they'll gain another three, four pounds. And it's just a never ending cycle of this. You have the power, you have the ability to go from here and strut straight down into your goal. You don't have to do a zigzag, right? And this is what I tell people is that until you get to your goal weight, until you get to your dream body, do not incorporate cheat meals too often. Now the second part of this video is about cheat meals. I feel like it's very important to convey to you guys how I feel about it and how I use it. So I use cheat meals about once every two weeks or once every three weeks, depends on how I feel. Uh, usually when I'm in routine, I'm in a habit, I feel really good about myself and I don't wanna ruin it by going out and having something that I shouldn't have and then the next day wake up and I notice I'm not as lean as I, I am, right? I don't feel as good. And so what I do is this, I create a mental, kind of a mental co connection with food. And I tell myself, I know that tastes awesome, tastes great, tastes amazing. But the thing is, is that that's a temporary pleasure, right? It's a temporary pleasure. It's gonna feel awesome for like 10 minutes as you're eating it, but then I'm not gonna feel good for maybe a whole day. And that 10 minutes to me, that 10 minutes of eating is not worth it to me, mentally. Mentally, it's not. Because I would rather feel good, I would rather feel more energetic, feel like I'm productive, being on a plan, and feeling this positive, optimistic energy versus pigging out, feeling lazy, feeling sluggish, feeling like, oh my God, I don't wanna do anything. I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna talk to anyone, I just wanna stay home and be lazy. That's the kind of feeling that I don't want. And I know that if I go out to eat every single day and I start to gain weight, right? I don't feel as good. And that's the mental connection that I make with food is that I look at that food, I know how it tastes, I know it tastes amazing, but the thing is, I would rather feel amazing than eat something amazing for 10 minutes. Does that make sense? That's the mental um, connection I make with food. Now, cheat meals, also very importantly, is that when you do have it, you have to plan it out. You have to plan out a special day, maybe the end of the week, Friday, Saturday, whatever day you want, and tell yourself, I'm gonna enjoy this night. But the thing is, the day after tonight, I will be on track. And what I do is I make sure, I make sure I work out the morning of, the morning after my cheat meal or cheat day. I make sure I work out. Why? When I work out, it gets me into that right mentality again, right? And after my workout, I tell myself, okay, I cannot go to uh, the donut shop and buy a whole, you know, box of donuts. Now I just worked out, I'm, I'm sweaty, <clears throat> you know, endorphins are rising, right? And I feel more, I feel better about myself and I want to be back on track. That's the biggest advice I can give people is that after your cheat meal, the morning after, go work out, go for a walk, do something active that will get your mind back on track. Because if you don't do that, if you wake up, if you don't exercise, and then come in time, it's breakfast or lunchtime, it's very easy to go out again and have another cheat meal. It's very easy. And then tell yourself the story we all know, right? Today is the last day. But then, it's not, right? Then before you know it, it's been a whole week of not eating what you're supposed to eat. It's been a whole week of being off the plan and now you feel like you have fallen off the wagon so much, it's really hard to get back on track. That's the situation I don't want you in. So today, tell yourself, <clears throat> when I have cheat meals, I will plan it out. 
I will be back on track the morning after. I will go work out. I will do something productive for myself and I will be on my way to my goals because you have the ability to do that. Cheat meals, be very careful. It's very easy to lose yourself in them, okay? That's my advice.